So on my last video, you guys gave me some really good feedback and I very much appreciate that about the raw live trading that was provided and sort of the no interruptions and just hearing it from start to finish. I appreciate your guys' feedback and because of that, let's go ahead and do it again. We're going to look at my trading day today. My trading day today started red, decently red, and ended green. Now, there is one reason and one reason only why I ended today green and why I was able to make back my losses intraday from my first two trades. And that reason is sticking to my stop loss. Sticking to my stop loss, accepting that I was incorrect, and moving forward. Moving forward, being able to read the market for what it was, and understanding that I was incorrect. I know this sounds so easy to say, and I know it sounds rudimentary to some of you out there. However, this is not easy, and this is probably one of the largest reasons why traders fail. The ability to accept that you're incorrect. It's not a human thing that we want to do, right? This is not normal. This is not what us inside want to do. We don't want to accept that we're wrong. However, if you want to be a successful trader, you're going to have to learn to do that. And in today's video, it's a great example of me accepting I was wrong. In front of everyone live trading, sharing with them that I was incorrect, sharing with them that I took two pretty nice losses to start the day. However, I kept my head. I kept focused. I understood what was going on in the market. I understood the flip that was occurring, and I went long, and I made all my money back plus $900. So I have this entire day recorded live from start to finish, and you're going to hear the entire thing. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do after watching it, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe to the channel for some more live trading here on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy seeing it live. Enjoy seeing it as it happens. Press that like button. Subscribe. Let's jump right into it. Am I interested in this Microsoft retest for longs? Mm. Microsoft sort of interesting on this retest here. Watch that. It's not A plus, but you could definitely watch it here. This is Microsoft. Hmm. All right, I'm pretty happy that I haven't traded yet. I have just had nothing's really, you know, sparked to me. So I'm I'm chilling. Microsoft was really nice. Both of those little Microsoft trades were nice there. Nice little break and retest. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tesla, that candle is getting me interested now. That's a very interesting Tesla candle. Yeah, I'm watching NVIDIA as it approaches, but NVIDIA hasn't shown me enough weakness to take that trade yet. Okay. All right, I'm starting a Tesla put. I'm starting some 235 puts on Tesla here. I took five. It's a lighter size. I know it's against the NASDAQ a little bit. I understand that. But that's why I'm scaled down. But I mean, 240 again? I'm going to give it another shot. It worked yesterday. I'll give it a shot again today. Why not? So guys, this was the first trade of the day, and this was ended up being a losing trade here. Uh, this was a Tesla attempt of a supply rejection at 240. This was the same exact trade that I took yesterday, and it worked out beautifully today. Not so much. The reason this trade did not work out is because of the hold on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. You heard me say that it was a little bit against the overall market. I still was seeing relative weakness on the NASDAQ and S&P, so I was willing to take a small shot here just using that $240 level as my stop. Now, you're going to see later in this trade how important my stop loss was because if I would have held Tesla, this would have turned into a very ugly loss. 
However, I stuck to my stop, which was over 240, which you will see later in this video. If I didn't stop out there, this was a very large loss. However, that is what I did. I kept the loss small and we were able to make back this loss. So let's see how this works out. I will not exit Tesla if it's under 240, guys. Just understand that. I don't care if it bounces, whatever it does. I'm just going to let that sort of sit smaller size, comfortable size. Google. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Google's. That's a big 132 level on Google. Okay, Google is now my top watch. And NASDAQ is right at that, okay. NASDAQ starting to get into a, and the ES is starting to get into a supply as well. All right, I'm getting a little bit more interested here. NASDAQ's pushing into yesterday's rejection points. ES is pushing into the pre-market highs. Google is a decent entry, but the problem with Google here is that you have to be careful of 131 demand. Hmm. NVIDIA. I might have to take a starter on NVIDIA, guys. Which is probably, you know, it's, it's a larger account. So just be careful. Nvidia is pretty expensive. Yeah, we do have data in five minutes. That sort of throws a monkey wrench in the plan there. Hmm. Okay, I'm waiting. Waiting. Google is a big watch at 132. NVIDIA is a big watch at 462. But market still looks pretty strong. And I don't want to get stuck in a grind right now. And we have data in five minutes. Right. I'm going to have to take a starter on NVIDIA here in about a couple and maybe in a minute I'm waiting for waiting making sure the data is not like a drop and pop type move I'm making sure it's not like a little drop and then pop type move on the on the data waiting Okay, I'm short NVIDIA. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I could be wrong here, but 462, 462, that's it. That's the only reason. 462, NASDAQ, 15875, ES, 4570. It's just, it's, yeah. I mean, if we just grind higher, then yeah, it'll be wrong. But I'm gonna try this level here. So this again is another losing trade here on NVIDIA. This is my second trade of the day. NVIDIA is going to move higher through that 462 level when the jolts data is released. I think I might have slipped up here a little bit by getting in before that data was released. I probably should have waited for this. However, I really was interested in this 462 level. It was a very major previous low on NVIDIA and I was very interested in seeing if it would reject. I didn't mind an entry here at this area because I, my risk reward was good, right? I wasn't risking too much. We were starting to see some reactions at that supply. And so I was willing to take a small shot. You can see I had five, but then I took it down to one contract because I was just a little concerned of the data that was approaching. So I had a risk management here. I liked the potential of a starter here with the idea to add into it. But NVIDIA on the data ends up stopping me out. You guys will see that momentarily here. Okay. Waiting. 
waiting, 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 waiting. That's not enough. NASDAQ struggling at that level. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, now I get, now I think I take my loss. Waiting another waiting for this candle to close here on Nasdaq. Tesla at two forty. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to cut my losses here soon if I see continuation. Waiting for this two-minute candle. Okay, Tesla still rejecting 240. NASDAQ needs a little bit more confirmation for me to get out. All right, and I'm waiting to see if this candle on NASDAQ can close above, and if it does, I'll jump. So, yeah, I probably should have just waited for that 10. I knew that. I knew better. That's fine. One contract. That was the only good thing I did. Just kept it small. All right, if this candle holds above, I'm out, and I think that's possibly what's about to happen. Watching Tesla off 240. Watch the break and retest for upside on Tesla 240. That could be a nice long on Tesla. Okay, that is out. All right, I'm out on Nvidia. I'm out on Tesla. Now I'm looking for that hold. So it took my losses there. Now let's see if we hold above that 875 level. Let's see if Tesla holds above this 240. And if Nvidia holds above 462, I could be interested in that long there. Nice. All right, we're getting our pullbacks here. Good, 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 good. Keep an eye on this, two, this 462 on Nvidia and this Tesla 240. Okay, that might be it right there. All right, I'm trying NVIDIA longs. I'm gonna try it over 462. NVIDIA might catch me with my pants down both sides, but that's fine. I'm gonna try 462 here. I'll, I'll go into it deeper at 462. I'm gonna try to see if this is a pullback long of 462. Tesla's also very interesting off 240. So guys, this is where the green starts to come in and I love to see it. So NVIDIA broke a very key level, 462. This was my stop loss on my put side. But if NVIDIA now holds above this level, right, I am interested in the long side. And that is why I just entered NVIDIA long on this trade. This trade does take a little bit to develop. I have to hold it above that 462 for quite a while, but it eventually develops beautifully and holds above this 462 perfectly. The NASDAQ is also moving higher, holding above a previous supply, turning it into a new demand, and we get a very nice consolidation here on NVIDIA over about a 10-15 minute period. I do go down and I do end up being in drawdown on this trade for some time, but my plan never breaks, so I have to continue to hold, and you will witness that here on this trade. So this trade ends up being a beautiful green trade. You guys will see how this all develops live. I'm okay if it comes down and sort of curls at 462. Four sixty two, maybe even down to like four sixty one. That previous that where that breakout point was. The ES is why I think I need to be in sort of soon if I'm gonna get a long. Because if that ES holds that 4570, then it's going to flag back higher. That's at least my thought process here. 
Microsoft is rejecting 371 pretty well. Watch that. NASDAQ coming back down into that 875. Okay. Watch to see if this ES can hold 4570 here. That's the key. And watch to see if the NASDAQ can hold this 15875. That's another major key there. I might even look to long the SPY off 4570. I'm watching that. Yeah, I'm long SPY. I'm long SPY 456 calls. Yep. So a real quick interruption here. You can see on the top chart a 4570 break and retest. This is the trade of the day right here. Watch as this develops off this break and retest. That's a really nice break and retest of pre-market highs right there. And really nice break and retest of 875 on NASDAQ. Oh, there it goes NVIDIA. Bam. Yeah, I'm long SPY with some confidence here. 456 calls, they're already up 13%. I'm looking for a push back into 4580 here. You could try the long on the Qs, yeah, off the 15875. If this thing just sort of does that bull flag and fakes me out here, that's just unfortunate. I mean, that's a I'm I'm in that all day. So That's just it is what it is at that point. If it breaks under 70, then I'm out. That would be a little nasty, but that's a nice little break and retest. I got to take that. Maybe the setups don't work today. We'll see. Yeah. A little nasty there, but I'm not out yet. I'm waiting it. I'm waiting. Waiting to see what this wick does here. Still wicking. Still fine. This is crucial. Pay attention to the S&P 500 off this 4570. Watch how this wicks. This is what we need to pay attention to on the intraday to get an understanding of if we should stay in a position or if we should exit. You will see this 4570 level messes around a little bit but it never truly breaks below. You get a few wicks, you get a few demand holds, you get an idea of what it's doing there, but it never really truly breaks here, and that is what keeps me in this SPY long. So watch this S&P 500 on the top side of the charts. Watch how this wick develops and how I maintain this position as long as this stays above 4570. I like it, but we'll see. It's a little aggressive on a retest trade, but this would be the entry I'd want. It's a break and retest of pre-market highs. Same with the NASDAQ. Break and retest of yesterday's triple top on the NASDAQ. It's still there. I don't know, though. I mean, it's setting up. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. It's definitely setting up. It's absolutely setting up. So I am still very confident here. It's the only trade setup that is valid at the moment. So this is the ES, right? You can see it broke that pre-market high. It's retesting it now. I just need to see some volume come in on that retest, but I'm still not quite seeing it. So I could still be, you know, this could still be wrong, but I know where my stop is. I know my game plan. I'd like to see us try to maintain this 70 area. And NVIDIA I'm holding until 461 area. I 
I still like this spy hold, man. I just need a little bit of a juicer. I just need a juicer candle. Yeah, that looks good. It looks good. It looks good. I mean, it's there. I'm in this all day, so even if I lose on this, I'm in this all day. All day, 10 out of 10 times. That's a perfect break and retest to that 70 level. Yeah, it is still low volume. I see that. It's not great. If you want to take some off here, you can. It's not great. But it's still setting up. And I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna be scared of the fake out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get out because I'm scared of it faking me out. I'm just I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be scared, panicked, it pulls back. I'm just gonna let it work. I'm not gonna be like, oh I'm gonna get out because I'm scared it pulls back. I'm just gonna let it work. It's so there, I have to let it work. I have to let it work. Volume's picking up, yeah. Could it still do a nice little FU candle right back down? Absolutely. So just make sure you understand that. I'm really looking for that real move though. Because I'm liking the strength I'm seeing on the market today. All right, I'm gonna have to take some off at the 4580, of course. Right there, half off, bam, 35%. Boom, baby. There it goes. Yeah, nice comeback. Just kept the head, man. Started with some losses, but. Just flipped, understood what was going on. I'm happy I did that because I could have went down a really bad rabbit hole. And look at that rejection of 4580. Holy shit. I mean, good half off. Good half off. I am still in half, so that's a little unfortunate still. I'm waiting to see if this wants to wick again on the spy, but it's not looking too... All right, so this candle right here, this is the key candle. If this two-minute candle stays under 70, I'm out. This is the key candle right here. Does 4570 reclaim itself here? That could be the NASDAQ retest that you're looking for on the Qs there. Yeah. Watch that NASDAQ 875 area. And this might be the NVIDIA retest that we were looking for too. I believe that this could just be a bull flag forming above pre-market highs here on the SPY. Just like this. Just like this. See that? I'm just, I need that little squeezer. Okay. Yep. Come on, SPY. All right, I gotta take some more off at that, on that push because I don't wanna get stuck in another drop like that. So a little bit more off there on that SPY squeeze. Taking some profits. Because this could reject 80 again, and I don't want to be a part of that with full size. All right, NVIDIA starting to juice. Come on, NVIDIA. Let's follow through here, buddy. All right, I'm all out of spy. Don't like that at all. I'm all out of everything. I'm getting out. I'm done. I'm out.